All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a parallelogram. The first thing we have to remember is what is area? Well, area is the number of unit squares, so square units, inside the figure. So one way to find the area of this parallelogram would be to count all of these individual rectangles, I mean, uh, individual squares. But that would get a little time consuming, plus it gets a little tricky when you're dealing with these fractional uh, fractions of a square. So we want to find a formula. Well, first thing is we take a look at the parallelogram. And one, if, one thing you can see is if we take this corner over here of this parallelogram and cut it off, eh, cut it off like there, boom. And then if we slid it all the way across, well, instead of having a parallelogram, we now have a rectangle. But this parallelogram and this rectangle have the exact same area because all we're doing is taking this corner of a parallelogram, cutting it off, and reapplying it with no overlaps, no gaps, onto the other side. So we've taken the parallelogram and created a rectangle. We know that the area of a rectangle is base times height. So the base has eight units across. The height has five units up and down, so the area of this rectangle is 8 times 5, which is 40 square units, which means the area of the parallelogram is the exact same thing. So 8 times 5 is 40, so the area of the parallelogram is 40 square units. So it turns out the formula for the area of a parallelogram is the exact same formula as the formula for the area of a rectangle, base times height. All right, in this rect uh, parallelogram, we have a parallelogram with a base of 6 and a height of 3. And if we remember, if you cut off the corner of that parallelogram and move it to the opposite side, it, you turn the parallelogram into a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is base times height, which is 6 times 3 is 18. And that means the area of the parallelogram is also 18, which is 6, the base, times the height is 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. All right, and our last parallelogram, we have this parallelogram here. It's got a base of 9. It's got a height of 5. And we learned that the formula for the area of a parallelogram is base times height, just like in a rectangle. The tricky thing is the height is not this slanted side. The height is the up and down. So the height is 5, the base is 9, so 9 times 5 is 45, which happens to be the exact same area as the related rectangle with a base of 9, height of 5, 9 times 5 is 45. 